One of the main challenges is the logistics of administration of the product. So patients have to wait for six weeks uh, while it's processing. And that is a very long time in, you know, for the relapse refractory population in, um, in myeloma. And, and during that time, the disease can progress. And obviously, there are mitigation strategies like, you know, bridging therapy and others. But um, I, I believe that that is a, is a challenge for that population. I also think that side effects uh, are a big challenge and, you know, they require close monitoring in the hospital, sometimes um, up to, you know, two weeks. And there can be very severe side effects uh, like CRS or neurotoxicity. And so it's really important, uh, you know, to monitor that. It's being addressed. So I expect that, you know, there will be solutions to, to those challenges. I cannot give you the response to that. <laughs> but I also think the last point maybe to touch upon as one of the challenges is what we spoke about before around management of expectations on uh, the outcomes of the the therapy for patients. What does it you know? What does it mean on a, on a longer term on accessing uh, it? Because it probably uh, well, it's likely it won't be accessible in all countries in Europe. So that will be a big issue. It's a very expensive uh, therapy, and and then around side effects. So really management of of those expectations.